Hello, I'm Yazi, and this is my channel. A place where every box has a story. Today, we're at the end of time. As a young woman looks into the ether, the world we come to understand is moments away from disappearing. Not a dark void that fills the space around her, but nothing. No color, no up, nor down, no time. As she floats away into nothingness, the thought of existence courses through her body. What will happen to me if time stops being part of reality? Where will I, everything go from the stars to the smallest organisms? If she will witness the end, will she witness a new beginning? Was there a purpose to anything? The young woman floats on the border of everything and nothing, letting her mind race with no one to communicate with. The question falls onto deaf ears. She takes one last look at the existence. She savors this view one last time. Able to see groups of galaxies clash into each other, planets soaring through, orbiting the nearest object. Everything seems to be speeding up in these last couple seconds. Will the last life forms feel pain when experiencing non-existence? The young woman fears for them because they do not know what is about to happen. As family gather around the dinner table, they enjoy their favorite meals. From different planets and all walks of life, they exist. Until nothing. The young woman is finally there. Everything has a breaking point, a limit. But who knows this applies to every fabric of time. Did life itself push this fabric too far? Was it the simple case of old and worn out? And if so, how can we fix it? With the biggest question being, how is this young lady even here? Maybe it is true. Life is inherently pointless, but given purpose by those who understand its existence. In the end, nothing mattered. But before the end, everything had a purpose. Maybe the answer is not as simple as, we exist to procreate and make future generations have a better life than the ones before it. Everything could just be a continuous act of mistakes that created this fabric of reality. As a young woman looks into nothingness, she says, why am I the one to experience this? For being alone, how does one truly know they are real? The young woman starts to fold in her arms inwards. Legs bend to her chest, everything compacting to a tiny oval formation. As if the body was trying to hide from itself, the feeling of guilt takes over. As she says, what if this is all my fault? What if her existence was a string to break the fabric? A mistake to even be born? a curse or a blessing to understand enough of what existence is, but not being able to fully understand it. As a crackling white noise sound is heard from the distance, the young woman hears this as a salvation. Maybe she is not alone. The sounds become more and more clear, not louder, but as if they were being tuned to a very specific frequency. As she opens her eyes, the number 730 appear in the distance thank you for watching my videos there's still plenty more to come i have really been deep diving into how to make short stories been reading a lot of um stephen king i forgot what it was but it, it like he made a collage of short stories and i've just been reading that trying to learn as much as possible so i hope you enjoy fun fact the minis used in all my videos are actually minis I use for d and I have a couple characters that I'm playing right now. One is for the Saturday one shots for the group and another one for a more serious campaign that I have no idea how long we're going to play. So the first one is I am a, a wood gnome monk and it's open hand monk so I can't remember much about it but I just hit things a lot. I roll like eight times and then the other one is a wood elf this time but it's a circle of dreams wood elf so i'm playing as a healer you can heal people as a bonus action you get cool little shape shifting damage wise complete utter trash but i think it's really fun to play and rping as a completely different person other than myself is starting to become really fun